Welcome back, everyone, to more and more Go Go Nippon. This is our last day on our trip to Japan. Yay, great weather today. This is my last day to look around Japan. Nakira said she'd take me to Yokohama. Okay, let's make my last day here the best. So, are you ready to head out? Ah, oh, yeah, completely. Okay, then, let's start. Hmm, yawn. Here, you look really sleepy. Are you okay? Ah, oh, sorry, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Hmm, but you don't really look well. Do you think you might be coming down with something? If it's too much of a bother, you don't have to come with me today. Eh, are you saying you don't want me to go? That's not it. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's just that you're sick. I don't want... Ah, that's what I said. I'm fine. And not to worry about it, right? That's true, but... Anyway, let's get going. We want as much time as possible to look around, right? Yeah. I know she said she's fine, but I wonder if that's true. Last week, she's gone out with me so often, done so much, and she just got back from Kyoto. I wonder if all the activity is catching up with her. By the way, how much do you know about Yokohama? Hmm, not really very much. Not much? Well, to tell you the truth, until you asked me yesterday, you could say I didn't know anything about it. Oh, I see. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but it's like I lied to you. I told you not to worry about it. It means all my hard work wasn't in vain, huh? Ah, nothing. Just talking to myself. Ah, uh, speaking of which, you don't know where Yokohama is, do you? Ah, uh, no, embarrassingly enough. It's next to Tokyo. It's a harbor town in the Kanagawa Prefecture. Ah, so it's not in Tokyo. I guess it's much pretty- it must be pretty far. Nothing to worry about. It may be one prefecture over, and you can still get there directly from the large stations like Tokyo and Ikebukuro. And it doesn't take long at all. It can't be more than 30 minutes from either station. Oh, I see. I guess it would take longer to go to places within Tokyo that require a lot of changing trains, huh? Yeah, that's about right. Anyway, I'll save the detailed descriptions for Yokohama for after we get there. Riding that train again. Train, train, animation. Well, here we are. This is Yokohama. Yes, this is one of Yokohama's most famous tourist spots, Harborview Park. Harborview Park? See, you can see the whole city from up here. Uh, I wonder if we can see Monato, Monato Mirai 21 here. Monato Mirai? Yeah, it's an amusement park. It has Japan's tallest building, the Landmark Tower, and a big Ferris wheel called Yokohama Cosmo World. Anyway, it's kind of like the heart of Yokohama. It's strange, we should be able to see Yokohama Harbor. Ah, uh, isn't that the harbor over there? Huh? See? There are a lot of boats docking. Oh, you're right, that means the harbor that the park overlooks. Oh, come on, what an annoying name. Akira. Um, that's right, I haven't told you about Yokohama yet. This place is Yokohama, was an itty-bitty fishing village about 150 years ago. Small, this place? Yep, there were less than 100 houses here, it was pretty small. 100 houses? How did it get to be such a big city in such a short time? Well, because American ships came. American? Until then, Japan was a period called the Sokoku, in which trade with most countries was forbidden. But in 18, um, yeah, 1863, American named Admiral Perry came to Japan to open the borders. Sokoku came to an end, and Yokohama was chosen as the vanguard of trade with our countries. In other words, it was a window to foreign trade. That's right. Afterward, Yokohama turned from a sleepy fishing village to a town filled with cutting-edge foreign culture overnight. And within a mere 150 years, it became a huge city you see today. Wow. You could say that Japan's modernization began right here in Yokohama. When Yokohama became a foreign trade port, this whole area was designed to cater to foreigners. So they built a lot of western-style buildings in this area, and it became a big tourist spot. Western-style, huh? Yeah, anyway, as long as we're here, you want to look around? Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's an area called Yamate Chiku. In Japanese and English, I think you call it Yamate Burahu. Burahu, I bet she means bluff. And because people from consult consulates for European countries like England and France lived here, it became an upper-class residential district. See? Do you see all the adorable houses? Yeah, I see what you mean. It really is strange having all these European-style houses in the middle of Japanese town, but from our standpoint, I guess it doesn't seem that strange at all. But right now, I'm more worried about... Yawn. Hey, how unwell Akira's been looking since this morning? She looks exhausted the whole time on the train. Hey, Akira, are you sure you're okay? Huh, I'm fine. Why do you ask? It's just you look completely exhausted. Huh? Hey, if you're really tired, you don't have to force yourself. I told you, I'm fine. I'm not tired at all. I hope not, but... Anyway, let's get going to the next destination. Sure. Anyway, I'll have to just keep my eye on her. Ah, here we are. This is Chinatown, right? Wow, that's amazing. You got it right off the bat. I think it would be more obvious for anyone looking at it. The Chinatown in Yokohama is said to be Japanese biggest alongside the ones in Nagasaki and Kobe. It does seem pretty big for a Chinatown. Right. Originally, this area was a settlement for Europeans who came to trade here, they say. I see. So how did it end up in Chi as Chinatown? <laughs> 
You've been listening. Because when Japan opened their doors, there weren't many people who spoke foreign languages, so the Europeans would bring Chinese people with them since they could communicate with the Japanese in writing. They say the area where those Chinese people lived became the basis for this Chinatown, but back in those days, Europeans still outnumbered the Chinese in the area. Wow. All that changed in 1920, 20, 1923, I think. There was a terrifying earthquake called the Great Kanto Earthquake. Over 140,000 people died, and it's called the greatest disaster in Japanese history. 140,000? Must have been a lot of damage. There was. The damage was so bad, people were even thinking about moving the capital to somewhere else. If that happened, Tokyo wouldn't have become the capital city it is today. Anyway, the Great Kanto Earthquake caused a lot of foreigners in this area to move back to their home countries, and the ones who inherited it was the Chinese. In the years that followed, the region developed into a big Chinatown that we see today. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hey, do you know Sunbun? Sunbun? I think you call him Sun Yat-sen in English. Oh, Sun Yat-sen, we study him in Engli history class. He was a Chinese revolutionary, right? Yes, a revolutionary, they say, after he was exiled, he spent some time here in this town and continued his revolutionary work. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, one of the highlights of Yokohama Chinatown is the Kentai Bio. Kentai? Yeah, it's a uh, Biu. Ven uh, what? Venerating one of China's most famous military generals. Biu? Ibiyu is where you worship ancestors of other great people. I think you call it a... Mausoleum in English? Oh, you mean mausoleum. So Kentai was the name of a really strong general who lived in China around 200 AD. He had a really long beard and he's renowned for his sense of duty, not just in China, but Japan as well. Have you ever read Sengoku Shi? I think it's translated in English under the title The Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Yay! Something I actually read and know! Oh my god, amazing, right? Uh, I've never read it, but I know of it. They use it a lot as a motif in anime, right? Right. The general Kenyu that you see in those animes is Kentai, uh, venerated here. Right, but my image of Kenyu is a totally as a girl. That tells me a lot about your anime viewing habits. By the way, the building only dates back to the 40s, but the site itself is 150 years old. In other words, Kenyu-san had been protecting this area for 150 years. So he's like a protective spirit. That's right. So as long as we're here, would you like to pay tribute? Sure. I just messed that up. Anyway... Damn it! Damn it, I didn't want to go back. This area really feels like total Chinatown. So many Chinese restaurants, see? And all these odd little shops up and down the street. Oh, I see. Hey, look at that one. It's full of cute little trinkets. It is. I've never seen anything like this. It's amazing. Isn't it? That's what I said, but there are really lots of Chinatowns all over the world. There are reasonable Chinese restaurants, even in my town. I mean, it's not like I hate Chinatowns or I'm bored or anything, just... I'm just really worried about Akira. I'm grateful for her explaining so much to me, but she really does seem less energetic than usual. She's not smiling or getting mad at me, the way she usually does. I really for feel like she's forcing it. Oh uh, hey, what's that? A delicious smell waf wafting through the air. Wanna eat, Akira? It'll be my treat. Akira? Hey, Akira. Huh? Don't say huh, did you hear what I said? Uh, yeah, of course, I heard it. Um, yeah, where was I? You were talking about all the shops in Chinatown. Oh, right, yeah, I was talking about the number of shops. Um, yeah, I know all about that. Um, I think Akira is definitely, that's it. There are 600 stores in Chinatown, and almost 250 of those are Chinese restaurants. There's so many, I bet it's hard to decide which one to pick. Ah, speaking of food, I think I'm getting a little hungry. Hey, it's about time to let's get something. What, you're not hungry at all? It's not that. Maybe it's time we went home? Huh? What, you're not having fun? No, that's not it. That's not it at all. Just, just what? I really think you're under the weather today. God, will this guy shut the fuck up? I think it's best if we just go home. There's no point in pushing yourself and you so much to get sick. Said I'm fine. Huh? I told you, I'm fine. But don't butt me. If I said I'm fine, I'm fine. Akira. By the same token, if you're bored, just say you're bored. If you're... I'm not. That's not it. That's not it, sort of. Well, can I really say that I wouldn't have preferred that we go somewhere else at least a little? Or maybe what I'm thinking is, if we had gone somewhere else, I could have seen more of Akira's expressions? Yeah, you didn't say anything. That means you're bored. No, that's not it. That's not it at all. Just... Just... I get it, huh? You wanna go home, then fine, go home. No, I didn't say I wanna go home. Yeah, like you said, I'm not feeling well, so I'll go home. Is that what you want? Not like that at all. And once I'm gone, you can go wherever you want. I'll just go home like you want, so wherever I want by myself? Well, you think I'm boring, don't you? Then I'll stop wasting your time. Your last day, you wanna go somewhere more fun, don't you? So I'm going. Wait, Akira! Hey, Akira! Dots.
ended up chasing after Akira, and we really ended up going home. No matter how I tried to talk with her on the train, she wouldn't respond. I guess losing her temper like this is more proof that she's not feeling well. Anyway, let her take it easy today. Akira, why did you come with me? Well, I can't just go sightseeing while you go home alone. That's why I told you I was fine. Even so, hey, come on, why are you going? Is the house that way? The supermarket. I forgot I gotta get ingredients for tonight. I told you not to worry about that. We'll get dinner somewhere, like the company over there. See, you don't worry about it, and just... Kira? Okay, I got it. If you want a Konami Bento for your last day, you can just buy it yourself. I don't care anymore. Kira. Kira, she's so fast, I have to catch her. She got away from me. Akira, she ran into her room and won't come out. Did I say something to offend her? I was just worried about her. Looks like Makoto's gone out somewhere too. The house is so quiet like this. I've never been like this before. Kira, this is my last day in Japan. Why did it have to turn out like this? Why? Uh, uh, Makoto. Hmm, you're back already? That was fast. Uh, well, speaking of which, where is Akira in her room? Yeah. What's wrong? Did something happen? Um, you try to make a pass at her or something? No way, I would never do that. I'm kidding, no matter how shameless you are, you'd never do something like that. Huh. Did something happen? Well, I'm sort of, but sort of not. Hmm. When you put it like that, I bet it was... what was it? Makoto? I can't do it. It's not my place to explain. You'll just have to figure it out. That's cruel. Anyway, if Akira won't come out, you'll have to figure out something for dinner. It's your last night here, so maybe I ought to whip something up myself, huh? Whip up something Makoto's going to cook? Let's see, what's in the fridge? Wait, Makoto. If I don't stop her, it's gonna turn into another disaster. What's wrong? Look in the fridge, it's packed with ingredients. Uh, huh, you're right. Why is there so much in here? You don't know, huh? I think I know. If you know, then what is it? You're hopeless. Here, let me give you a hint. Have a look in the entrance. Entrance? Is there something in the entrance? Just go look. Hmm. This is Akira's bag. She was carrying it? Looks like a book's peeking out. This is... This is... You know what this is? This is Yokohama Guidebook. Did you look inside? I saw. Yes. That's so in... <laughs> yes. So that's the entirety of my hint. As for the answer... Well, it looks like you've gotten it. Yeah. The Yokohama guidebook Akira was carrying. All the best sightseeing routes, all the most popular sightseeing spots, and all of kinds of information about them. She had to check them all in such detail. I imagine that was the first time she's been to Yokohama. First time? So she must have checked it out all in detail. She probably stayed up all night. So it's not like she was feeling well. After all that, I... Page after page, there's notes handwritten all over them. Was this all she... so she could give me a tour? I told you not to worry about it. it. means all my hard work wasn't in vain. Duh. Yep. I'm just gonna highlight some other things. Yeah, but in each... Yep, 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 yep. And that was all because... in here, and she's translated the harder words into English. Even though she's so bad at English. Yep. <laughs> We don't need highlights from something that just happened a few minutes ago. She really is an awkward one, that girl. But she really tried so hard to prepare and wrote down all the English that she's so bad at, then all the ingredients in the fridge and probably the same reason. She didn't want you worrying about her today. She wanted you to think highly of her. To think highly of her. That's why she worked so hard. And after all that, I just, I just... Kira! Kira! You can stay in, the, you can stay in there, just hear me out. Look, I'm sorry I didn't know how much you've been preparing for today. I didn't even think about it. Now I know how hard you worked for me, and after all that, I just ruined it. It's like I just trampled all over your efforts. I guess you won't come out. Listen, Akira, maybe it's too late now, but I just want to say one thing. I'm sorry about today, and thank you. She won't come out of her room. She won't even talk to me. I guess I must have really hurt her that bad. On my last night here, if I had realized her feelings even just a little, then maybe I could have been, had a better night in my last day here. And then, maybe I could have told Akira how I feel about her. Yes, how I feel. Yes, I think I... There's no way I can do that now. Maybe tomorrow. I hope she'll talk to me at least a little bit tomorrow. If she does, then...
I guess she isn't coming out, yeah. I'm sure she knew when you'd be heading out, but I guess she just wants to be stubborn. I'm really sorry, I'll try to call her one more time. Don't. Eh, don't bother, it's time we have to go. But, I really would like to have seen her one more time, to hear her voice, but let's go, Makoto. At least say goodbye to her. I left a letter in front of the door to her room. As long as she reads that, it should be okay. A letter? Yeah. All my feelings, all my thoughts are in that letter. As long as she understands how I feel, I... Are you sure? Yeah. I see. I understand. It was just a week, and I don't like leaving it behind like this, but... This house, and Akira, and thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming to see me off. It was nothing. I hope you'll see us again sometime. Sure. And you should visit me my town sometime. Sure, I'll definitely try. Anyway, bye. Yep, bye. Farewell, Japan, and... Wait! Huh? Akira? Thank goodness I made it in time. Akira, you, you came? Akira? Um... Hey. Yeah? A lot of Japanese. Yep. Huh? Lots more. I'm sure very important. Akira? Oh, it's, it's okay. I see it. I, I'm not reading it, but it's like, it'd be very, it's just, it's like really badly English. <laughs> if you can read it. I'm reading like the way I'm looking. If you forgive me, yeah. Yesterday, maybe? Uh, forgive me for what I did yesterday or something like that. Yeah. So. Uh, what of me to. I, ha I can't even read that even in English or something. Huh? Yep. Yep. Huh? Oh no, I got caught up in the moment. But that, that meant I, what I thought it did, didn't it? That's it, the paper bag. Akira gave it to me just as we parted. I wonder what's in it. A doll and a letter? I made you a doll. It looks like you, doesn't it? I'll be waiting breathlessly for the day we meet again. This is the seal of our promise. With love, Akira. <laughs> waiting breathlessly for the day we meet again. If we're going to meet again someday, if she's going to promise that, I'll have to show her around my country, so then I'll be studying Japanese every day so I can communicate my feelings to her without misunderstanding. Until the day I see her again. For that day. Goo Goo Napin, my first trip to Japan. So we're gonna have the credits, yep. So yeah, there we go, there is this game. <laughs> I don't even have much to say about it. Of course, they use like these pictures. Like, okay. It has some interesting things to it, and interesting some little bits of educational thing along the way, and then to combine that with a very, very streamlined uh, you know, dating sim, uh, just visual novel, uh, it's not, it's not bad by any means. Dialogue is not the best, at times. I can definitely say that much. <laughs> there was some really cheesy, dumb dialogue, especially the main character, I don't like the way he was written at all, but I guess that's kind of like typical, the way they write a lot of the visual novel dating sim-esque main guys. They're really awkward, really extremely awkward guys. I don't know. Regardless, I hope some people out there enjoyed enjoyed it. I finished it up here. I don't know if something's gonna happen now. Oh god, we got more. Phew, I finally made it. Let's see, next thing I need to do, that's- oh, wow. Well. Oh, so I go back there? Is this back? Like, okay, so then an express ticket, then I need it on the train. After I take it to the Rita Express, and I do this, then that. Right, it's perfect. It's been a whole year. She swore she'd come to visit me in my country and told me to wait for her. Akira had promised she would come, but it never seemed to happen. 
I'm sure she completely intended to come, but she was still in school. She didn't understand how hard it was to raise her own money, take time off, and go overseas by herself. I really did want to keep my promise to her, but more than one, wait, wanting to keep a promise, wanting to see her again was my overriding feeling. And so I came back to Japan. Naturally, I kept it a secret from her. Let's see. And then this is where I changed trains. Then there's Akira. What? If she's mad at me for not wanting, waiting for her, but still. It's been a whole year. It hasn't changed at all. Oh, my! no way, huh? Akira! I can't believe we bumped into each other like this. Why are you here? Well, I just really want to see you. Um, oh you. I told you to wait, you jerk. Huh? What is it? What's so funny? You just you reacted just the way I thought you would. Akira, there's so much I want to say, but I won't try right now. I just... Just what? I want to enjoy my happiness from seeing you again. Welcome home. And that's how it ends. Extra! We can look at the CG gallery! For the ones we unlocked, of course. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up this episode of First Play. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope someone out there enjoyed this.